Okay, welcome to the step-by-step -step approach on creating a project in Primavera P6. This is a short video that explains each step in creating your project in Primavera P6. Once again, I welcome you to my class. So in the previous video, we learned how to create the OBS, which is the first step in our project creation process. In this video, we're going to be creating the EPS, that's the Enterprise Project Structure. Of course, don't forget, we're working on this very simple project. That is the Community Health Project. And if I scroll down, you're going to see the step two, which talks about create a new EPS titled CL Portfolio and a program titled Test Construction Project. Then the step three says link the CL Portfolio to the Construction OBS and the program to the Project Manager OBS. In the previous lesson, we had created the OBS. Please, if you're yet to see that video, I suggest you first watch it. I've, I'll, I'll put the link in the description below. So next, we're going to jump into Primavera P6 and then create our EPS. But first, to give you an understanding of what an EPS is, EPS is used to create a portfolio and then also a program in Primavera P6. Portfolio is simply a combination of all your projects as well as your program. In essence, everything that we do within the organization comes in in our portfolio. Then a program is simply a group of related projects. So these are similar or interrelated projects. So we group them based on their relationships. I'm going to jump into Primavera P6 and show you the default database. Whenever you install Primavera P6, I'll show you the default database because it is organized based on the concept of program as well as portfolio. And we'll see exactly how that looks. So once again, uh, this is my Primavera P6 page. So within the Primavera P6 page, please note that I am in the projects page. And in this very projects page, you're going to see that there is a particular section here, which is Enterprise All Initiatives. So this Enterprise All Initiatives, that's the, that very first line you're seeing within the table, represents a portfolio. So to show you that this is a portfolio, or as a testament to the fact that this is a portfolio, if I click the Collapse button, you see this tiny white button by the right of it. If I click on it, you will notice that everything under it collapses. You can see that everything rolls up under it, which, of course, is a proof that this is a combination of all the projects and the program that I have within my P6 database. And then I click on it again. You notice that it gets expanded. Then you see these ones that have green background. For example, the E&C, Engineering and Construction, also Energy Services, manufacturing, all of these are examples of what we now refer to as a program. So you can see that the program is a sub or is a subset of the portfolio. So the program are these ones with a green background. Also note that in some instances, for example, under my product development, you can see that it has a sub program, which is product program one, as well as product program two. So these are sub-programs, simply to say that sometimes even within a program, you may have sub-programs, depending on the complexity of the projects that you manage within your organization or the complexity of the organization's portfolio. Then all these ones that have white background, that the symbol is like a folder, all these ones are now what we call projects. And if you take a very critical look at the project, you will see that Primavera grouped them based on similarities. For example, all construction and engineering projects were put under the engineering program. All energy services projects were put under the energy services program. Same also with manufacturing. Projects that have to do with manufacturing, all of them were grouped under the manufacturing program, which further explains what we said earlier on about the concept of a program, which is a group of related projects. So what we're about to do now is to create something similar. Of course, don't forget, you can always get the link to download this document from the description in this particular video. So we want to create our own portfolio and then create our own program 
And that's exactly what we shall be creating right now. So once again, I welcome you to my class. So to create an EPS, the full meaning of EPS is Enterprise Project Structure. And remember, we said we're going to be using it to create both our portfolio as well as our program. So to do that, I simply go back to my Enterprise menu. So you see the Enterprise menu? So I click on the Enterprise menu. From the Enterprise menu, I'll click in the dropdown, which is Enterprise Project Structure. And once I do that, the Enterprise or the EPS window will pop up. So you can see this is Enterprise Project Structure. And in order to create my Enterprise Project Structure, I simply click on the Add button. So when I click on the Add button, if you notice, it creates a space for me to enter my new EPS. So here, I'll go back to the brief to confirm what the name of the EPS is. So you can see the first one, I'm looking at instruction number two now. So the first one says I should create an EPS titled CL Portfolio. So let me just copy that, CL Portfolio, and go back to my Primavera. So under the EPS name, which is this column, in the cell, I just paste the cell portfolio. And then under the ID, I'll just use the initial CP for this particular portfolio. And then I hit on Enter. So because I want it to be the first item within my database, so I can differentiate it from these ones that come by default from Primavera, I'll use these four directional arrows. So I click on the go left button, and then I now click on the shift up button. So the moment I did that, if you notice, CP is now the very first item within my database. And if you take a look at the left-hand side of the screen, you will notice that CP is the very first item there, which of course is the sale portfolio. So we have created our own company portfolio in this database. The next step would be to create the program. So I quickly go back again to the instruction. It says, and a program. The program should be titled Test Construction Project. So I'm, I'll just copy the Test Construction Project by clicking on Control C, and then I go back again to my Primavera pieces. So what I need to do to add this program now is simply I click on the Add button, then it will create a space for me to enter the program as usual. I like the way it has presented it now because it is at the right level. So I'm not going to have to shift it left and shift it up like I did with the portfolio. So I come here under the EPS name. I paste the title of the, the program. I just did Control V, which is paste. And then here I use the initials. And that is the TCP as the ID. So once I'm done with that, I would have successfully done the step two of this particular instruction that talks about creating the EPS titled sale portfolio and then a program titled test construction project. So I want to quickly do this step three because it really doesn't take long to do. So instead of making another video about how to link the OBS and the EPS, we just do everything in this video. So it says, link the sale portfolio to the construction OBS. So I go back to my Primavera. This is the sale portfolio. So link it to the construction OBS. If you take a look down below, you're going to see a portion for responsible manager. So all I simply need to do is I click on the browse button. And when I click on the browse button, if you notice, the select responsible manager window pops up. So from here, I can select construction by clicking on it. And then I click the select button. That's this little green button you're seeing by the right. And once I've clicked on it, whatever pops up, I simply click on yes. So you can see the responsible manager has changed to construction. Then I do same for the TCP, which is the test construction project. Again, if I go back to the brief, the brief says for the test construction project, that is the program, it says uh, the program should be linked to the project manager OBS. So I go back to my P6 and then I select 
the test construction project, which is a program. And again, I come to the responsible manager section. This time around, I select the project manager and then I link it. Uh, once I've done that, you can see the responsible manager is now the project manager for the TCP. That's the test construction project. So once you're done with that, you simply close your enterprise project structure window. So if you take a look at my database, you can see I have my own portfolio now, which is my sale portfolio. Under it, I've created a program, which of course is the test construction program. If you take a look at the detail view, the general tab in the detail view, you can see the responsible manager is the project manager. And if I check the portfolio, the responsible manager is construction. So that helps me to effectively fulfill the second part as well as the third part of that particular brief. I hope this particular session has been quite informative for you. So once again, I want to thank you for listening. In the next lesson, we are going to take a look at how to create a new project. For more information, you can check the description in this box. You can also subscribe to this, my YouTube channel. And if you want to become an expert and build your capacity on how to use Primavera P6, feel free to purchase any of my courses on Primavera P6, or you can also contact me one-on-one -on -one for a one-on-one -on -one training. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.